The following program is designed to demonstrate simple workouts that you can use to improve your health. Be sure to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program. Stay tuned for Body and Spirit. Today's topic is going to be fitness for women. I'm Dick Nunez, Wellness Director of the Black Hills Health and Education Center. Welcome to Body and Spirit. Today's topic is going to be women's fitness. Women today have been given this sales pitch that they're all supposed to have a Barbie doll figure, and women go to extreme measures to try and become fit. Lots of diets, some will even become anorexic or bulimic, and actually start to destroy themselves. Unfortunately, since they diet so often, I see women oftentimes partaking of things they shouldn't eat, eating lots of refined foods, quick foods, Weight Watchers type foods, or just going for the microwave and putting whatever they can in there, not giving their bodies really what they need to be fit and healthy. Also, we see the fact that they don't understand the exercise and how to exercise properly. And so they find themselves in a vicious cycle. What are they supposed to do? How are they going to turn themselves into the type of body they want to have? So today we're going to focus in on that and try and talk a little bit about how women should be eating and how they should be taking care of themselves. The Bible does tell us that all that we do, all that we eat, all that we drink should be done to the glory of God. When women decide to take in beverages like pop, to whose glory are they taking it in? It has no nutritional value, and the reality is it starts harming their health. So we're going to focus that on that today on body and spirit. So I think we're ready. Let's get started. And helping me out today will be Martha and Susan. Okay, just put over there on the chair there, thank you. Okay, we always want to start by loosening up a little bit. So, Susan, let's bring you up over here. And we're just going to swing the arms around a little bit and just start to loosen up. Okay, now let's go the other way. Remember, stretching is a means of getting flexible but isn't necessarily warming up. So when we warm up, we just want to get the blood circulating, get the joints moving, and let the body know that it's in getting ready to do something. Okay? Relax. Okay. We ready? Okay, why don't you come a little closer together? And I want you to get down in push-up position. We're going to start with some push-ups, and we're going to do them in a female form where you're going to have your knees on the ground. Now go ahead and lower yourself down and push up. Good. It's important to have the shoulders, to, excuse me, the hands just a lot, little wider in shoulder width. We're doing just fine. Okay, keep going. The elbows go out to the side as we focus on the chest. Okay, keep going. And another one. Good. Just keep repping it off now. Excellent. Oftentimes, women don't think they can do push-ups, and the reality, they can. I've seen women do one-hand push-ups without any problem at all. We won't do that today, though. Okay, keep going. Let's see if we can do five more. Okay, and go down part way and just hold it there. I'm going to try and hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Good. Start to feel that just a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to stretch out now. We're going to reach back and let the chest stretch. Okay. And then reach across. And you want, this time we're going to stretch the back. Okay. Now reach back again. Feel it stretch. And then when you come forward, you want to wrap around and stretch the back. Okay, good. Now we're going to train the back, the upper back area. That's an area that women oftentimes neglect, and then they start to get this forward head tilt, and they start to lose their posture. And as they grow older, that 
forward head tail leads to more problems with that upper thoracic area. Have you ever seen a lady who gets this rounded effect in their upper, right underneath their neck? It's called Dower's hump. Yeah. Well, we don't want that, do we? Yeah. So we like to do whatever we can to avoid it. And one of the things to do is to make sure the muscles in between the scapula, those two uh, or triangular shaped bones in your back, also known as the shoulder blades, all those muscles that are in line around that, we want to make those strong. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend over, reach out, we're going to grab our wrist, okay? Now I want you to have your, take your hand like you're going to shake somebody's hand, okay? We're going to pull back and then we'll reach back out. Now we're supplying the resistance here. So we pull back and pull back out. Okay, we want to tuck it right back into us, right straight back. We want to make the movement just as simple as possible. Kind of like we're starting a lawnmower. Okay, keep going. And you dictate how hard you work. Bite it and then pull it out. And the whole time you're doing it, you're thinking about squeezing the shoulder blade back. Okay, let's do five more. And two more. Good. Okay, now we're going to switch. Grab the hand and pull. Okay, go ahead and keep going. We're going to try and do 20, 20 of them. Bend your knees just slightly. Okay, and you want to feel it back in here. Good. Excellent. Okay. How are we doing here? Good. Okay. Oh, we're looking like champs already. Good. Okay, let's try and do five more. Excellent, good. Another thing I find women do oftentimes is they baby themselves through their workout. We're not going to do that today. We're going to make sure we get a good workout in, okay? Let's put the arms out. Now we're going to draw little tiny circles. We want to keep the arms straight. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make those circles a little bigger. Now we're going to make those circles small. And now big again. And now small. Okay, now we're going to go backwards. And as you go backwards, you want to think about those shoulder blades again. Trying to work the muscles in between there. Now let's make it bigger. Okay, let's keep it going. Make it small again. There are 16 muscles on each side that attach into the shoulder blades on each side. So we have an incredible complex network of muscles back there. Okay, bigger still. Okay, and tighten it up. Okay, and go back to the front again. In fact, when you study anatomy physiology, it just becomes really evident that there's a divine creator in there. If you look at the average body has 50 to 60,000 miles of blood vessels in it. And that's incredible. But then if you take all the strands of DNA, you could go to the sun and back five times. That's 93 million miles away, one-way trip. All that in the average human body. Okay, now tighten it up again. Keep those arms up. My arms are up here nice and high. What's happening to you? My arms are heavier than yours. Okay. Okay, maybe we better just hold it here. Okay, nice and level. Oh, good. Nice and level there. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds. What do you think? Can you make it? Maybe? Want to be confident. Yes, we're going to make it. Yeah. Let's go for a minute. No, we won't do that. Ten seconds. Keep hanging in there. And then there's 20. One, two, keep them up. Three, four. It's going to feel good when you put them down. Six, seven, eight, nine, down. Oh, you feel that? Okay. Well, now let's draw the arms up like this. Okay, we're going to go up and down. This will help stretch it out a little bit. And also starts to bring into effect the trapezius muscles, which are these muscles right here. The 
come off each side of the neck. Trapezius is a long muscle. It starts up in your skull and goes all the way down to T12, so it goes way down your back. Okay, let's keep the elbows up. Push down. Good. Okay, let's try and do 10 more. This is another excellent exercise to keep our posture good. Anybody ever tell you to sit up straight and have good posture? And then we always have to think about it. Well, when you exercise on a regular basis, you don't even have to think about it. It just happens. Okay, good. Relax. Oh, let's stretch the shoulders out now. Let's bring an arm across. Grab it back behind the elbow. There you go, right in here. There we go. Okay, keep holding it. Okay, and let's switch to the other side. Good thing we don't have three arms, huh? <laughs> okay. In fact, sometimes it's really sad to me when I watch a lot of the young people today and how badly they slouch. Because it's going to catch up with them before too long. Hold on for five more seconds. Okay, good. And relax. All right. Now I want to stretch the upper back area. We're going to grab an elbow like this and pull back. Okay, now the other side. Feel that stretch. Five more seconds. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do some biceps and we're just gonna have the arms up and we're gonna flex them down like this, just like we were in a bodybuilding contest, okay? Squeeze them down, reach out, good. And you dictate how hard you work here. I found back when I was involved in bodybuilding years ago, after doing this for a long time, it actually made you really tired. So I found that we could just take the same exercises we did in bodybuilding and the posing and get really good workouts just by concentrating on the flexion as we do it. In fact, anytime I do this exercise, I always feel a lot in my biceps. See how we're doing here. Keep going. Keep the elbows up. Okay, and you want to bring bring the wrist in a little bit. There we go. Okay, good. Feel those biceps flex each time. Okay, good. Okay, five more. And two more. Good job, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work the tricep area. And where we're gonna do that is we're gonna just brace our wrist. We're gonna push down and then bring it back up, okay? I'm gonna try and push all the way down straight and make yourself work. Give yourself some good resistance and then pull yourself back up. Try and focus on the tricep, go ahead and keep going. See how we're doing here? I'm gonna focus right in here, good. Oh, excellent. You feeling it back there? Good. Things were quivering and jumping around back there. That's good. We want those fibers contracting. Okay, let's do five more. And two more. Excellent. Okay, let's switch over to the other side now. Nice steady press all the way to the bottom. You want to turn the hand a little bit more so it's like you're shaking somebody's hand. There you go. We're going to do 10 more. Work it hard. Force your body to go through the motion. And give yourself some good resistance. And three more. Okay, 
One of the areas that women are always wanting to focus on is their hips and thighs and that region there. So we're going to do that now, okay? And the way we're going to do that, we're going to do an exercise that's very beneficial, but also a little bit difficult, and that's squats. Now, everybody thinks that they may know how to squat down properly, but the reality is they don't. When I ask people to squat, their first motion usually is they want to push their knees forward, and their toes come up, and that's wrong. We don't want to do that. When we squat down, have you ever heard the old saying, use your legs? Well, in reality, that's very important, because when you bend down to pick something up, you want to use your legs in order to pick that up, but you want to have your body squat down properly. If you're jutted forward like this, you're not going to get the benefit you want like you would if you had a proper position. So when we squat down, the first thing we do is we push our hips back. And we push our hips back, and then we sit back, and we don't want our knees to go over our feet at all. And so we'll cross the arms across the chest. Now, when we do our squats, normally we're going to have a stance that's a little wider than shoulder width with the toes turned out just slightly. But we're going to go even wider still because we're going to do a series of squats that's going to train the entire leg. We're going to, the first set is going to work the inner thigh. Okay, so we're going to start squatting down and back up. Push the hips back. And you can go down a little deeper if you can. This is an excellent exercise also for toning the gluteus maximus area. Nothing hits that area like doing some squats. Okay, we want to sit back even a little further. Good. Push the hips back, okay. Let's get you both up in an up position. Okay, now down. Let's try and get this a little more in unison. Okay, and down. And down. Keep pushing the hips back. We're gonna do five more like that. bit deeper. Good. Now, if you can't go this far down, that's okay. Now bring the feet in a little bit closer. Okay. You don't want to turn them out quite that drastically. Get, get your feet apart a little bit more. Get your feet apart. Just okay. Okay. Now squat. Again, push the hips back. Okay. Well, push back. Way down. strong enough we can become catchers on a baseball team. How's that? That sounds fun? Let's do five more. And one more time. Okay, let's bring the feet in close now. Okay, and squat down some more. We're going to do 15 more like this. Push, push your hips back as you squat down. Hips back, the chest up. So now we're hitting a little more of the outside of the thigh as we bring the legs in closer. Starting to feel it yet? We will. Okay, now we're going to go down and hold. We're going to try and hold this for 30 seconds. <sighs> now remember, I'm a lot older than both of you. So if I can do it, you can do it, right? Okay, hang in there. There's 10. Oh, do I count slow? <laughs> and there's 20. One, two, three. Four, five, ooh, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, felt that, huh? Okay. Go ahead and lay down on your sides on the floor there with your head up this way. Okay. I want you to grab a hold of an ankle and just pull your leg back. You're like this. There we go. Okay, go ahead and lay down a little more. Okay, you just want to feel that stretch in the quadricep area. You feel that? And hold that for about five more seconds. Okay, shift over to the other side. The 
more flexible you become, sometimes you have to even come back a little further there. Good. Very important to keep those legs flexible. Okay, let's go five more seconds. Okay, relax. Lay on your back. Now bring one leg up straight. Okay, and you want to work on stretching that back. Grab behind the leg. Or you can grab up around your calf and pull back. Good. Now if you have to just grab behind the knee, that's okay. Both these girls are pretty flexible, so they're able to get a little further up. Okay, and hold that for a nice steady pull. The thing we always want to avoid is we don't want to do any bouncing when we stretch because you can pull the muscle by doing that. Five more seconds. Okay, relax. Get the other side now. And pull it way back. Good. Nice steady stretch. Five more seconds. And relax. Now, another thing that people like to do a lot, you look pretty comfortable though. You want pillows and blankets? What do you want here? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do some uh, abdominal work now. So I want you to bend your knees, but your feet are still gonna be on the floor. And we're gonna put the hands behind the neck, not the head, the neck. The reason why we do the neck is because if you put your hand behind the, hands behind the head, people sometimes pull on their head and they can hurt their vertebrae. Or if they just don't support at all, once again, they, they can hurt their vertebrae in, the, in their neck because they don't have any stability. So if we put the hands behind the neck, then we have a good base and we're not gonna hurt ourselves. When we do an abdominal crunch, the thing to remember is our abdominal muscle only has a four inch range of motion. It goes from, the muscle goes from here down to here and it just goes like this. Okay, so that's all we're trying to do while you're laying down. It's important whenever we do abdominal work not to, <gasps> as we come forward, because we don't want large abdominal walls, at least I don't think you do, do you? Okay, and so what we want to do is we want to encourage the muscles to be in, so we're going to blow out <sighs> and crunch up. Now when you do the crunch, you want your chin up like you want to try and touch your chin to the ceiling. If you can do that, we'll give you a million dollars, okay? Okay, uh, crunch up. Good, and back down. Okay, now just do repetition after repetition. Let's try and do 20 of them. Okay, go ahead. Okay, a little faster, Susan. Okay. Come up just a little further, there you go. Good, we're looking real good. Keep it up. Okay, let's do six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're doing so good, we can do some more. Okay, bring the feet off the ground. Keep your knees bent. Now just cross your feet at the ankles. Okay, and do some more. Good. Excellent. Lifting that chin up high, exhale. Concentrate on pushing the low back to the carpet as you do it. Starting to feel that yet? 10 more. It doesn't have to be complicated. We can get a lot of effect done on exercise. We just take it slow and gradual and, and make sure we do the form proper. Okay, I think that's about enough. Now, legs straight up. Okay, now we can do some more. Is that straight? There we go. Up. This just adds a little different effect to it. If you want somebody to push down your legs to it, it can make it even harder still. We won't do that right now, though. Abs getting tired there? Okay, you go ahead and rest. Okay, you do 10 more. Good, oh yeah, you're doing like a champ there. And three more. Excellent. Okay, now turn over on your abdomen. You probably wanna stretch those muscles out now. Keep your pelvis on the ground, but push up under your hands. There you go. So you feel it stretch 
in your abdominal wall there. Okay, now let yourself back down. Put your hands behind your back. And you're going to lift your chest up and back down. Okay, and up and down. Do some repetitions there. That's a tough one for you there, Martha? Okay. And let's go eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Back on the feet. Now we're just going to do a nice trunk rotation. Turn. And then turn. And turn. Again, turn. Let's do two more each way. And good. Okay, ladies, thank you. We're all done. Okay, you can go on back there now. Whenever we do exercise, we always want to make sure we warm up with an exercise and also do a cool down. It's important to allow the body's muscles to help the heart as it keeps going through the pumping process after stimulating it. What we've done is just a simple workout that anybody can do. It's beneficial for both men and women, but I want women to realize that they can work a lot harder than they think. Oftentimes, they hold themselves back. In fact, oftentimes, when I was in the athletic club industry, I would show a woman a program, and I'd say, do 50 pounds for 10 repetitions. Six months later, I'd come back, and she'd say, I'm getting bored. And I said, well, what are you doing? She goes, well, I'm still doing 50 pounds for 10, because you didn't tell me to do anymore. Now, the men, on the other hand, were just the opposite. I would give them something to do, and they think, well, if you told me to do 10, I'll do 20. And they ended up burning themselves out or hurting themselves. But we want to take it gradually. We want to have intelligence on our exercise program. And above all, we want to make sure we realize that by a regular routine, we're going to get the, get the effect and shape we want. We don't need to go on crazy diets. In fact, dieting only makes you lose the wrong type of weight, makes your metabolism go down. It makes it that much harder for you to really get in shape. Regular consistency is the big key. Get lots of water, eat properly, and train all for the glory of God. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. God bless. See you next time. This time we're going to stretch the back. Okay, I reach back again, feel it stretch, and then when you come forward, you want to wrap around and stretch the back. Okay, good. Now we're going to train the back, the upper back area. That's an area that women oftentimes neglect, and then they start to get this forward head tilt, and they start to lose their posture, and as they grow older, that forward head tail leads to more problems with that upper thoracic area. Have you ever seen a lady who gets this rounded effect in their upper, right underneath their neck? It's called Dower's hump. Yeah. Well, we don't want that, do we? Yeah. So we like to do whatever we can to avoid it. And one of the things to do is to make sure the muscles in between the scapula, those two uh, or triangular shaped bones in your back, also known as the shoulder blades, all those muscles that are in line around that, we want to make those strong. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend over, reach out, we're going to grab our wrist, okay? Now, once you have your, take your hand like you're going to shake somebody's hand, okay? We're going to pull back the chair there. Thank you. Okay, we always want to start by loosening up a little bit. So, Susan, let's bring you up over here. And we're just going to swing the arms around a little bit and just start to loosen up. Okay. Now let's go the other way. Remember, stretching is a means of getting flexible, but isn't necessarily warming up. 
So when we warm up, we just want to get the blood circulating, get the joints moving, and let the body know that it's in getting ready to do something. Okay? Relax. Okay. We ready? Okay, why don't you come a little closer together, and I want you to get down in push-up position. We're going to start with some push-ups, and we're going to do them in a female form where you're going to have your knees on the ground. Now go ahead and lower yourself down and push up. Good. It's important to have the shoulders, to, excuse me, the hands just a lot, little wider in shoulder width. We're doing just fine. Okay, keep going. The following program is designed to demonstrate simple workouts that you can use to improve your health. Be sure to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program. Stay tuned for Body and Spirit. Today's topic is going to be fitness for women. I'm Dick Nunez, Wellness Director of the Black Hills Health and Education Center. Welcome to Body and Spirit. Today's topic is going to be women's fitness. Women today have been given this sales pitch that they're all supposed to have a Barbie doll figure, and women go to extreme measures to try and become fit. Lots of diets, some will even become anor. The elbows go out to the side as we focus on the chest. Okay, keep going. And another one. Good. Just keep repping it off now. Excellent. Oftentimes women don't think they can do push-ups, and the reality, they can. I've seen women do one-hand push-ups without any problem at all. We won't do that today, though. Okay, keep going. Let's see if we can do five more. Okay, and go down part way and just hold it there. I'm going to try and hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent. Good. Start to feel that just a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to stretch out now. We're going to reach back and let the chest stretch. Okay, and then reach across and you are or bulimic and actually start to destroy themselves. Unfortunately, since they diet so often, I see women oftentimes partaking of things they shouldn't eat, eating lots of refined foods, quick foods, Weight Watchers type foods, or just going for the microwave and putting whatever they can in there, not giving their bodies really what they need to be fit and healthy. Also, we see the fact that they don't understand the exercise and how to exercise properly. And so they find themselves in a vicious cycle. What are they supposed to do? How are they going to turn themselves into the type of body they want to have? So today we're going to focus in on that and try and talk a little bit about how women should be eating and how they should be taking care of themselves. The Bible does tell us that all that we do, all that we eat, all that we drink should be done to the glory of God. When women decide to take in beverages like pop, to whose glory are they taking it in? It has no nutritional value, and the reality is it starts harming their health. So we're going to focus that on that today on Body and Spirit. So I think we're ready. Let's get started. And helping me out today will be Martha and Susan. Okay, put over there. 